Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Arete di Mono Agara Ari. I'm turning on episode four of Not a Monogatari Off Slash Monster Season. Um, boom. It's the comments, your favorite thing in the entire world. Uh, I'm gonna be real. Well, I don't know how quick we're gonna be. I'm only gonna hit like two or three of these. Some of the, some of the big ones. Um, first, absolutely true. We love Sodachi. I, if nothing else, I am so glad that everybody in the entire comment section pretty much just is loving Sadachi. You know what I mean? There's there's something like Sodachi, you know, we love so Sodachi needs hugs, move out of the way, Sodachi my beloved, Sodachi our beloved. I shed a tear when Som Sodachi came on the screen. For the blind she is vision, etc. etc. It's just it's just great to see. Um but we're not here to just to just only love Sodachi. We're here to actually like think about the show, right? So a couple things. Um, I liked this a lot. I think this was great to remember. Um, I'll read it and then I'll explain why I like it so much. So it's uh, the comment reads. I'll skim it. Um, all I can think about flirty Nadeko saying so embarrassing to Nadeko's dream is what Kaiki said to her about dreams and creation. Quote: Creation is an embarrassing process and dreams are embarrassing as well. Um, blah 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 blah. Right. That is so good. Like to to focus on the phrasing of embarrassing because when flirty Nadeko says so embarrassing. I, I kind of a question I was a little unsure about is, is Flirty Nadeko being like positive or negative? Is she like chastising what Nadeko's doing? Is she, or is she in approval of it, right? Because Ogi was saying that she should be in approval of it in a sense, because because Ogi was saying, oh, to them, you would be the bright one because you're the one that pursued your dreams, Nadeko. Um, and so Flirty Nadeko, that's kind of the question is, is Flirty Nadeko thinking that current Nadeko is a good thing or like, a bad thing, right? What does the past iterations of Nadeko think of current Nadeko? And I do say past iterations, but remember, it's it's not exactly that clean cut. But but yeah, that kind of question. So when Flirty Nadeko says so embarrassing, it I with the context, remembering the context of Kaiki saying creation is an embarrassing process and dreams are embarrassing as well. I think it's actually positive, right? Because I feel like that's Flirty Flirty Nadeko just being like. Yeah, it's embarrassing, but we already know it's embarrassing, you know? Like, it's not, that's not a bad thing, because that's exactly what Kaiki said. And we listened to Kaiki and, and turned into an entire thing, right? So, if anything, it, I don't know, maybe it's like a little bit of like a, um, like, what's the term, like, sundere or whatever, where it's like, she might be, like, saying so embarrassing, and it's a little, like, it kind of seems kind of, like, mocking on the surface, but really it's, like, somewhat affectionate under the under the surface. That's kind of that's kind of the impression I'm getting now, especially with the, uh, with the Kaiki thing, right? Um, where it sounds like she's, you know, she's reiterating what Kaiki said, and Kaiki freaking spoke facts and inspired Nadeko. So if she's reiterating, reiterating that, then I feel like she's got to be in support of all that, right? So, uh, I really liked that point. Um, this I really liked, um... While watching it, I'll, I'll, the comment, while watching this episode, I was flabbergasted by how much I relate to Sadachi. I'm in the exact same situation as her right now. Um, ditching college soon after editing, reading books in the park, etc., etc. Um, cried a bit during her scene. Uh, awesome writer, because I literally just love Sadachi. Nisio Sin? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. But basically, this part of awesome writer, because I literally am just Sadachi. So now you're understanding how I feel with Araragi. Hey, like half of Araragi, not that part of Araragi, the other part of Araragi. You know what? I, or Hanakawa. Let's just say Hanakawa. Now you understand how I feel with Hanakawa. That's like that's what this show like does so well. I don't know why, and I don't know, I don't know how, but it does such a good job of like capturing a very weird and specific part of your life and emulating that with a character. You know, I never thought in all of my life that I would watch a show or really engage in almost any piece of media that made me feel how Hanakawa's arc made me feel with Tsubasa Tiger, right? And all, all the other other you stuff, the other selves stuff. Um, and, and even with like Aragi and kind of like, uh, I'm, I'm always stuck on his line of like, what, whatever the quote, I mean, something, something, I'm starting to love my weakness or whatever. That quote is honestly kind of life-changing for me, you know? Because it's just like, like I, I think about that all the time nowadays where it's like, am I, am I loving my weakness right now, you know? It's like, how does it do it? You know, so just to see somebody else with like Sodachi, it's like, yeah, I absolutely love Sodachi and she's great. She's a fantastic character. And I feel like the way that some people feel with Sodachi is how I've felt with Hanakawa, how I've felt with like Araragi, um, and like, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you know, I, I feel a little bit towards all the characters, of course, because they all do a great job or most of the characters at least, but 
every once in a while, it'll just be like, oh, that's literally me right there, you know? Um, okay, this part, or this comment I thought was interesting. It's kind of, because the line in question that this comment's talking about is Sodachi saying, life really won't end at all. Uh, and this commenter is saying no, that this is, it, it's being turned into a hopeful message about how no matter what, life continues, and as long as you have life, things can and will get better. Um, I really do see this as a hopeful message she's giving to Deco, even if she not, even if she may not fully believe it herself just yet. Yeah, like that's the funny thing because I immediately took it as a negative thing, right? Um, like a like solemn. I think that's the word I would use. Uh, kind of like a little melancholic, not exactly not despairing, but definitely a little like negatively laced with like a little bit of sadness built in. Um, and I think that's the kind of question is the statement life really won't end at all is that a statement that makes you feel hope or is that a statement that makes makes you feel like melancholy or like sadness or like despair right i think the statement by itself is really interesting but what's even more interesting is how people feel about that right your response to that so for i think and i think you actually i, I quite like the idea that like she's turning into a hopeful message even if she may not fully believe it herself just yet because yeah she's saying this to nadeko right her giving this advice to Nadeko is extremely lovely. Agreed, right? So she's giving it to Nadeko. So it is, it does have, like, it kind of needs to have a positive element because obviously she's trying to, like, help out Nadeko. Um, so the idea that, like, even, because, man, it's just the way she says it, it's so sad. And, like, the, I don't know, I feel like there was, like, the music change and she was kind of looking up wistfully. Like, that's, ugh, that really got me. Um, so I feel like there's a really cool position that she's in that's, like, she might not fully believe... I, I like the idea that, like, she not she may not fully believe it as a positive thing, as a thing of hope, but she's maybe getting there, right? Um, even if right now it's kind of not necessarily something that she takes solace in, but maybe one day she will, she'll be able to take solace in that. And that sounds really nice to me. Our, um, okay. A lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff in here. Agreed. Oh my goodness. Aragi talking to the new Sodachi would be crazy. Oh my goodness. Aragi's like not even in this arc, except for Ogi, but you know that, you know what I mean. Um, it's kind of crazy how much like big A Aragi ain't really around. Oh my goodness. In before he appears this episode, <laughs> that'd be funny. Okay. Um, let me just, da -da 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 I thought this was a really good understanding of Sodachi that kind of gave me a little bit more depth into it, right? How she was taking advice super literally, and that's how like, her life was so bad in a lot of ways. It's like the super clean room thing. Um, and so her realizing... And this is... Because this is what she was saying to Nadeko, kind of about Nadeko's parents, yeah? Um, so her telling Nadeko, like, that don't take it by the letter, but take it kind of by the spirit, you know? this The the spirit of the law, not the letter of the law type deal, that that'll be, like, more more effective or whatever. Uh, I really like this idea, too. Um, my headcanon is that Sodachi gaining energy from helping Nadeko is foreshadowing that her happiness is from inspiring others and that she will become a math teacher. <laughs> oh my peak. It's so peak. I need Sodachi as my math teacher, man. Teach me math. <laughs> Please. But yeah, um, I like this, this thing about all the things Sodachi doing in one aspect, she hasn't changed. That feels like another ritual of success of her hers failing again, which is, could explain why she felt nothing fundamental about her had changed. Um, I just, I like that. I like the term ritual of success. Um, I guess it's, it might be kind of reminiscent of Oshino, but just ritual for sex, for success where it's like, you're desperate for change. So you act like things have changed, even if they haven't, you know? And so it's like, oh, I'm going to cut my hair. Oh, I'm a new person now. Oh, blah, blah, blah. But it's all just you, you know, trying to like, trying to like kind of cope your way there. Um, but yeah, so I just, I like that statement, and I, I, in kind of, I don't know. Bro, this makes me feel like, in the novel Bakke 1, brother, it's been like two years since I've watched that. How long ago? A year and a half? <laughs> it's, is that crazy? Um, the rewatch, the rewatch, holy crap, maybe that's the move. Okay, anyways, I don't, um, the distance between, or calling Sodachi new Sodachi invites the conversion to how we address the different Nadekos. I, uh, I think this, you know, Ogi kind of brings this up, which the comment brings up here, right? Um, am I still my past self? Lamented, so Dachi lamented that she was still herself. Nadeko seemed to distance herself. Ogi told her not to distance herself, um, which is very big for the Aragi Ogi thing, right? Especially because she used the word familiar, or Ogi used the word familiar, uh, you know, which is like, ooh, I'm a little projecting a little bit there, okay? Um, 
this line I really like to bring up, no matter how much I change, I'm still me. I think that's a good thing. But when you give it to somebody like Sodachi, who is trying to change so hard, I can see how that would be like debilitating a bit where it's like, you can't escape yourself. I mean, that's the one constant in everything you do in your entire life. You, you're always going to be there. I got bad news. Or maybe that's good news, okay? For some people, that's bad news. For some people, that's good news. Hopefully, we can get that into a good news position, right? Where it's like, oh, I'm always going to be myself. Lit. Oh, I'm always going, every action I take, I'm going to be taking with myself. Lit, you know? That'd be the, I think that'd be the, if we could get a positive sentiment onto that, that'd be lit. But lit, 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 lit. Okay. Um, and does that mean Hanukkah is going to appear? I would be so happy. We'll see, though. Um, dun, 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 dun. Infer that Sodachi lost her fuel, maybe the next narrative step for her to find a new one. Um, I would love to see an arc about that. This is important. Amazing Pink. You managed to misspell her name in the title, SMH, SMH. Fun fact. I did that on purpose because she has the literally such an easy name. It's just Soda Chi. Soda Chi. I did this on purpose because I wanted people to comment about me getting the name wrong because that's, it's called engagement bait, okay? I was try I spelled it wrong because I wanted people to correct me in the comments so that I'd get more comments so that the video would get more interaction, which would push out the video more. That was my gigachad genius 5 million manipulative top 10 anime manipulation moments uh, idea right there. However, it didn't work at all because you're the only one that said it and you already had a, a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> like, you already, you're the only one that commented about that, and you were already commenting anyways. So my manipulation tactic has failed. It's probably because I, my misspelling was like, maybe, maybe it's too in character. Maybe people are just used to me misspelling, so they're like, ah, that's normal. You know, who knows anymore, but I, I tried, okay? I tried the engagement bait. Um, but yeah, this is also so true. <laughs> it's actually really, I thought that was a funny comment, but yeah. Um, okay. Bro, I just heard an echo. 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 Echo? Bro, my metal... That thing, I have like a metal stool that I like put dishes on, bro. It echoes when I... Ah! Uh. Uh. Right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's going on, man? Hello? Hello? Get out of my face. Hello? Hello? Get out of my face. Okay. Um, episode three. I did scroll through this a little bit on my own just to remember what's happening. Basically, we've dealt with Flirty and Nadeko. We're going from Meek and Nadeko now. Um, Sodachi, my beloved. Sodachi, my beloved. Sodachi, my beloved. And that's basically where we're at. Oh, and we went to the Adaragi household at the very end, I believe, yeah? So. Yeah, and that says Adaragi household or something similar. Adaragi just says Adaragi right there. Okay, so yeah, let's just jump into the new one. Um, This is episode four. I got MTBB again because I'm a little late, so that means I get to get MTBB. Man, maybe I should be a little late more often. Everybody despairing when I, as I say that. Please, please! reactions please i'm sorry okay y'all your boy likes to sleep okay what can i not sleep in peace brother <laughs> i need that mtbb okay what am i gonna supposed to day one this nah you will wait i will hold the meal over you and you will be like little dogs ah, ah, trying to bite it no 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 only when i drop it only when i drop it all right good puppy all right my fault y'all i'm you're not my puppies all right three two one bang get yourself a drink get yourself a snack uh, sub to me, comment, blah blah blah. Love me, please. There's no subtitles. I'm going to lose my mind. Why are there no subtitles? What? What? What just happened? Okay, back to the beginning. <laughs> Sorry, three, two, one, bang. Oh, do I need to use VLC? No, no, it's working. Oh, I'm using Pop Player. Hopefully it works. Okay. Hmm. Are we gonna. A holds? Why is she creeping like that? Is this Adaragi's room? Whose room is this? It's gotta be Adaragi, because she's looking for Mikina Dek. Yeah, it would be here. Mika, Mika Nadeko is just like sniffing his drawers. Brother, he moved out. There's not gonna be any of his stuff here. Well, he did move out, right? Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. Let me shut up. Watch the show, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was trippy. Because that's the start of, um, 
She said that like a million. I've heard that a million times from her before. Before. Isn't that's the start of um Renai circulation? Yeah. Wow, that was so weird. And then they went into this OP. Oh my goodness, that was trippy. Yeah, right there, right there. Ready and yeah, 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 yeah. That's so. That's crazy, bro. Bro, Nadeko lovers have it have it good with this OP, bro. So many Nadekos, bro. I love, dude. I love her outfit in this. She like the her like cap works so well with her shorter hair. I've said that before, but like this look, she looks like a little like newsboy, doesn't it? She not look like a newsboy, like Papes. Can, can I get some Papes? You know what I mean? Like what's uh, what's what's new on the town, Nadeko? What's new on the town? I'll give you a nickel for a pape, okay? Or like a coal sweeper or a chimney sweeper. Nadeko, sweep my chimney. Shut up, never mind. Be quiet. I don't even have a drink, brother. I got a powered. I don't have time to open it. I do not have time. Nickel drop part three. Not a story episode zero. I don't know what that is. Is it Wrath Nadeko instead? What's going on here? Dude! Okay, okay. Wrong Nadeko. Wrong Nadeko. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Dropping an F bomb is crazy. Go forth, my Nadeko army. Slave labor. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Sniped. She better cut you. Eek. Okay. She got another one? She do. Oh wait, it's actually a fight. This is crazy. We need like a Karen or somebody to show up. さかなでこの式神回答しての特性は <laughs> Bro, she was smart. She predicted that Nadeko would come here. But where's where's Meek Nadeko then? In the closet? <laughs> Imagine, that'd be funny. I don't want to work. <laughs> Wait, we're actually in a bad. Ah! Oh, we got her. We just got. It. Oh my goodness! Okay, well, that was trippy. We're good now. We're actually good. Oh, she gigabrained it. So she stabbed a piece of paper and got absorbed in. Oh, while she's behind the chair, she was doing a little bit of work. Wow, Nadeko battle IQ kind of high? A big giddy? What is that? 
You don't actually want to. Ugh, ooh, I like how they're doing chisel stuff. That's so cool. That was a good, that was a really cool intercut. Right, they are. Why not? Sorry. Uh oh, I feel like we are about to get caught by somebody. Oh. Wow, she's able to do that with stuff like the chisel. I feel like, I mean, obviously God is like really scared, worrying. Yeah, your entire like stone mock is out. Dang! Is this Tsukihi's lair? New fit just dropped? Oh, she's getting in the, this. Okay, I kind of like it. She's got the, the cap on. I love the cap with her hair, bro. Wait, dude, I kind of like her. Wait, she got such a, it's such a kind of a weird outfit, but I kind of like it. Hello? Hello, hello? You're gonna answer it? <laughs> Yeah? Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Senjo Gohara? Is that Senjo? Wow, that is unexpected. Okay. Why did they do one for entirely for feet? That one's not on me for noticing the feet. That is not my fault. <laughs> she just looks like she got shot. Oh, you're just running. Okay. Dude, the live action shot. Run! Run! Who is it? <laughs> Dude, this. Wait, is Sendra Hara? Did we actually just dodge the Sendra Gahara like episode? It kind of seems that we did. Because <laughs> I was kind of expecting us to have like a... Oh, Mikina Deko could be up here, to be fair. Hello? Oh, it's just because she's in the swimming pool in the inner cuts, yeah? Because I could see Mikina Deko being here because... Oh, it's on an... Okay. Oh! God Nadeko did what? <laughs> For some reason, I just can't take it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not gonna take this like that seriously. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? She's being so over dramatic. Okay. okay. <laughs> like, this is monogatari, bro. I'm not gonna take a death, like, like... Right. Yeah, what do you... What's good with you on it? Okay, how you doing up there? Yeah, how you doing? What, what happened? What happened, girl? <laughs> Can we, uh, sew you back together? Oh, yeah. That's kind of a... A funny comparison. The cutting up snakes thing? <laughs> Tilt me. <laughs> Can you gather me? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, we're fine then. St a sign that says no bikes allowed. Interesting sign. Patchwork Ononoki. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. Yeah. 
まあでもこういう時<笑>死体系の怪異は不便だよ吸血鬼だったら散らばった肉片は消滅して Yeah, yeah, so this is just a hassle to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Not when Anoki's head just being dollied around. Doesn't mean you bleed more? Yeah, I guess so. 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 Yeah, I g u カミナデコに決まっているじゃないですか。身の程知らずとはまさにこのことです。展開次第では私はこんな風になっていても全然おかしくなかったわけです。でもねえ、カミナデコちゃん、ここまでしますか？何があなたをこんな強行に走らせる
手足がひっついているところを見ると少なくとも神なでことは遭遇していないみたいだけれど正直なところこのレベルで大敗北を喫したプロフェッショナルの相手に報告しづらいのがありましたけれど私はおののきちゃんの治療を続けつつ間違っても自慢に聞こえないようここまでの経緯を話しました The door still had Nadeko's like print in it from her running from Senju Gahara on the phone That's funny 謙虚ぶりやがって嫌なやつだぜあの今嫌いにならないで I got your shoe I got your leg Start waving it around Hit her head with it Huh? Okay, what are you doing right now? Are you at a playground just having a good time? Oh my Ogi. <laughs> I was having way too much fun on the panda, bro. <laughs> yeah, one target left, the two of them. Ace of Hearts in the Y of Hearts? Okay, so she doesn't have to be able to get out of the game. Ascend? Ascend? Oh, double god? In that case, we have to be able to get out of the game. Oh, my goodness. Ah, that'd be not all good. But, Ononoki-chan... He's freaking squeezing. Oh, yeah, maybe her meekness can be contagious. Kaiki, 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 Kaiki. 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 Mm, yeah. Dang. Okay, how do they miss each other? Just cover yourself in paper? Try to hit me, I dare you. Dang. Yeah. Really? You got like a tracking device, you offered in GPS? Oh, wait, did you actually lose your hand and it's like attached to... Because no, you're, she's still missing a hand. Oh, is her hand like still connected to something? Wait, that'd be crazy. Mm. And it says, kick me. Bruh. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's... Ooh, wow, that's cool with the cranes. It's a cool little visual. Alright. What? With, the, with dirt? You want a dirt hand? How does that even... We're making a, we're making a dirt hand right now. Alright. Oh yeah, how'd you go? Yeah, wait, wait, where's Hachikunji at? Wait, true. The snails, I saw the snails in the sand. Aww, she's out on a walk. Oh, that's actually so sweet. Hachikunji! No, Hachikunji would have rolled her low diff, no diff. I put Achikuchi the strongest being alive, trust. Oh, true. Okay, we gotta go protect Achikuchi! Ooh, and then we have a 3v2. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty nice. Okay, 
だからこそね神様に頼るっていうのはうんだと後に加工を残しかねないかな。Hunting could be like, oh, you having trouble again? あと始末というよりこれは僕たちの不始末だ。Right. なのに何の対価もなく助けてもらったら、yep. okay. 神様の信頼を落とすことになりかねない。こっちが助けるのはだけど、I guess her, I'm not used to her outfit when she's laying down. It looks a little different. Because I guess the gravity is not kind of dripping her lower. Wow, she's a sculptor. それで、カミナデコの背中にしがみついているオノノキちゃんの本物の右手は、uh, right behind us. 手だからね、目じゃないから、場所まではわかる。Oh, you can feel it though. わかるのは、指差し確認できるような方角だけだ。へ、okay. え。連中が、お前が作った式紙であることに違いない。お前の生活圏内から大きく外には出ていかないよ。お前を乗っ取るまでは。Yeah? ちょっと。Okay. Dirt hand Ononoki is in it to win it. Oh, that's. That's weird. No, yeah. Why does Ononoki look different? Am I tripping? I'm gonna have to compare it to like two episodes ago. Okay. We need to put a paper on the tip of Onoki's finger as she goes bing! Because then you can just shoot a paper at somebody. That'd be a good attack. What does that mean? Utilize them? Or, oh no, just okay, okay, okay. I'm right here. Yeah. Okay, do we utilize them? What do you, what do you, why do you keep her? Okay, okay, okay. Exercise. Okay, they're gone. Now you are worth three Nadekos. Ooh, 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 wait. Uh, okay, okay, so it's not about using them, but it's like you've absorbed them in a sense. Okay, okay, I can work with that, I can work with that. Bro, what was going on? I feel like Onodoki's outfit looked different. Am I losing my mind? I might be. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Bro, where's Hachikuji? It's weird. You know what's the weird about this episode? Um, That Senju Gahara, it's like... What they you what they like to do, right? We saw it like last episode. It was like episode, 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 new character, let's talk to him. Talk to him, right? And that was like Sodachi. And then this episode we did that with Onanoki, right? Um, but when Senjo appeared on the phone, it was like we got the chance to do that, like what what usually happens in the show, which is like, oh, we're gonna talk to a different character for like a little bit. And then Nadeko was just like, no, I don't want to, and then left. So it's like she just skipped the plot line, you know? <laughs> Like it, like, it feels like she, there was a side quest that Nadeko just purposefully skipped, you know? Which makes sense. I like it. I, I like it, especially it kind of um disrupts, like, the... Ah! It, like, disrupts the, like, um the chain that they've created, so it becomes less predictable. So I liked that. Uh, I just thought it was funny. Like, I was expecting them to her to run away and randomly run into Senjo. Like, Senjo being right outside or something. I was expecting her to not be able to escape the conversation, but then she just did. You know? So true, so true. My goodness. Good episode, good episode. Um, I think there's a few things that were really interesting. Let me do, let me just do a... a bit of, what Rath Nadeko said was very interesting. Um, what was the very beginning? Oh, that was just her pulling up. Uh, and then them two teaming up, potentially a 2v1. Um, I'm, I'm kind of curious if Meek Nadeko, because we were talking about like the um, time frame, right? Here, uh, the chronological order. I was a little, let me, let me, when Meek Nadeko was knocking, when Meek Nadeko was walking around in nothing but bloomers and when she was climbing the, this mountain in a school issued swimsuit, which was first and which was later? I mean, surely it was her walking around with the bloomers, and then God and Nadeko found her, put her in a swimsuit, and then she walked climbing this mountain. Well, because she wasn't seen climb. Oh, no, no, no. She was seen climbing the mountain by Onanoki. Hmm. Hmm. Because it's the question of, was Meek Nadeko, like, already 
teamed up with God Nadeko when Ononoki was tailing her? And I would say yes, because she led her, um, Ononoki all the way up the mountain into a into a backstab. So that's either God Nadeko predicting Meek Nadeko leading Ononoki here or planning it. And I would assume it's planned rather than predicted, you know? So I think Meek Nadeko was walking around in bloomers and then God Nadeko showed up, put her in a swimsuit and brought her up. Why a swimsuit? I mean, what is it like? She Ganadeko was also worried about Meek Nadeko just like flashing her hoo haws all over the town. <laughs> like, like I'm a god. I gotta care about my image. I can't you have m someone that looks like me walking around naked. You know, that it could be as simple as that. Um, and it also kind of lines up with with um freaking Nadeko Snake, whatever that was called, way back in Bake, uh, where Nadeko was put into the swimsuit. Yeah, because she was stripped to her bloomers. Aragi and, and Kamaru went yeah. And then she was put in the swimsuit, if I remember correctly. So it would kind of also follow that chain of event, uh, which would make it kind of like a spiritual successor to that a little stronger. So I kind of assume that's what happened, but who's to say? Um, I really thought this was interesting, what what Wrath Nadeko had said, because we're, it's not just that um, Wrath Nadeko is saying this, but it's like Nadeko herself is saying this to herself, right? Because we've already illustrated that in kind of what Ogi was talking about with like, don't distance yourself from your past familiars. We've already illustrated that the, these past Nadecos are really, are like manifested by current Nadeko. So they are in a way still current, you know, that was like an entire point in either last episode or the one before. Um, and so when Wrath Nadeko says, you don't actually want to put in all this effort, right? It's not just like, her from her past and she's changed from this but this is something she currently thinks to some degree right and maybe she's running it through the lens of her past self but there's a vestige of that i mean some part of it's alive because it was manifested in this current familiar which is based off the past right but it is there the 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 presence of it like not in the past is a very important yeah so this line i think is true for nadeko inside her right now that to some in some way she doesn't actually want to put in all this effort you know um and so when she hears that it strikes her so deep like a like a super chisel shot because it is true this was such a cool i love this too where they brought in a real chisel to kind of give like a cool background yeah had stabbed me sharper and deeper than any chisel could it's because it's right it's it's what she feels that's what she actually feels that she doesn't actually want to put in all this effort, her effort, you know, to some degree. And I mean, you can feel contradicting things, you know, it's not like her not wanting to put in all this effort means that she doesn't also want to put in all this effort. You can want both, you know, it's, that's the crazy thing about being human. You know, you can want two things and then your two desires battle each other to see who wins. Right. I want chocolate cake, but I also want vanilla. What am I going to order? I got to choose even if I want both. Or I can buy both, I guess, but I also want to keep my money, you know? Wow, it's like we're already in disagreement, right? So it's, it's kind of like one of those where I think this, she's given voices to all these different things that she feels now, right? She feels it now, and she's given them voices with the faces of her past iterations, um, and then now is having to contend with them, right? So it's kind of, again, like, what I really liked about the OP, where it's like all these different feelings, they used the word feelings, yeah, they're feelings she currently has. Yeah, so I thought that was really cool. And we kind of got the same thing with with um, with um Flirty Nadeko with the whole so embarrassing thing, right? Um, where, I mean, that's her... I think there's some level of affection, like I was saying, because of using Taiki's language. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it, it is saying it's embarrassing. So it'd be like, you know, maybe she still feels it's embarrassing, right? And, and accepting that is important because that's what Kaiki was all about. But, but yeah. <laughs> I'll let you rest. And then Wrath Nadeko says, no, I'll let you rest. What'd she say? Yeah, shut up, you rest instead. It's it's funny because she says, like, you rest. I mean, rest is a good thing to feel. Like, I want to be, you know, I want to be able to rest. So, I don't know. I mean, she is killing her, so. But maybe it's like Wrath Nadeko, in a way, is trying to protect current Nadeko. Being like, let me let you rest for once, right? Because you're putting on all this effort and and I know that you don't actually want to. Because this feeling has been voiced by Wrath Nadeko, right? But even if it's if it's true for a current Nadeko, if it's too much pain, just stop, right? Yeah. It is crazy, bro. Imagine 
how many how many times has this town had the situation where somebody is at odds with themselves and the different things they want and all these different functions and, and processes in their own skull and then it amounts to the entire city getting thrown into chaos you know if i had a nickel for every time because Nadeko's kind of doing that right now i mean i guess the city's not really in chaos yet because you know unless god Nadeko's out freaking making moves but but yeah so I really, I really like th this, this scene with Wrath Nadeko, right? And I mean, oh man, it's kind of a good, good point. If it's too much pain, just stop. Uh, that's the crazy thing, bro. A lot of, a lot of things that people care about and people want also have a lot of cost, you know? I mean, it's kind of the idea, um, the classic from The Incredibles, if everyone's super, no one is, right? If it was easy, then it wouldn't be valued, right? If, if anybody could do, do a freaking Leonardo da Vinci, Van Gogh, Michelangelo painting from birth. If you had two-year-old babies coming out the womb being like, oh, no, with the paints, you know, guess what? Art would no longer be nearly as impressive. Paintings, nobody would give a shit because anyone can do it, right? I, rarity does beget value. Um, and so, and I think the rarity, and a lot of times what makes things rare is it requires pain, you know? It's hard to do shit. It's hard to create stuff. It's painful. It's not just embarrassing like me. Oh, that's, oh my goodness. We're going through all the different pro, is, is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? Is that, are we going through all the different things of Nadeko doubting her creative process? That kind of is what it feels like. So Meek Nadeko was talking about it being embarrassing. Wrath Nadeko is talking about it being painful, which is like it being difficult, right? And like the pain of her putting out all this, putting in all this effort, putting out this work and it getting like no response, no views, you know? Ooh, what is, what did Meek Nadeko and God Nadeko got to say about it? It's pointless. It doesn't mean anything nearly in comparison to the power of being a god, right? All the other things you could be doing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, I like that. I like that. She's given, she's given voices to all her different feelings towards her creative process, and now she's getting hoed. Hoed by them, because she's having to deal with them, right? And that's at least kind of been the, been the move for these first two. I wonder if this mark is going to come back. Probably, yeah. That's probably at least... Uh, that was definitely what was going on with these first two. I'm, I'm curious if God Nadeko and Meek Nadeko will follow that uh, that train of thought. Um. Anyways. Um, so I, I quite liked that. I quite liked that. But, uh, what else even happened? Sandra Gahara freaking running from her. <laughs> did you rip it out of the wall? I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to pull this. I did not. Nope. Nope. Bad chat. It looks like she got shot in the head. She did. She, dude, the entire thing fell out the wall. Oh, look, her hat made a little hop too. Oh, she left the bike. Isn't that the Ogi bike? Then Ogi um get the bike. Wow, so a bike was left, a hole in the door, two punches in the door, and a hole in the floor. All right, well, hopefully, uh, <laughs> you know, that doesn't come around and bite us later. But definitely the marks of them trying to cover up their failure has given them new things to potentially cover up, right? Because, I mean, that's kind of what... Oh, she got her hair, like, ponytailed up a little bit, pigtails. That's kind of what, um... Oh, no, no, he's saying it's like, we're trying to just cover our own tail right now, right? But it's like they're leaving a bunch of, like, messes in other places, right? Um... Yeah, bro. Imagine if Hachikuchi was here. I'm a more Hachikuchi. Hachikuchi, Hachikuchi, Hachikuchi. Maybe better though. It's so fitting. I love that. It's, bro. Because I, I didn't even think, I, I wasn't thinking about that. I, we thought about that previously because a comment pointed out of like, oh, a god Nadeko and Hachikuchi are going to have to square up. And I was like, oh, that's super true. Um, But for her to be gone because she was on a walk, it's like, okay, that's even better. That's even better than Hachikuchi being here because of course Hachikuchi would be out on a walk. That's like her thing, bro. A wandering god. That kind of a sick concept on its own, bro. Imagine the god of a world and the god you just walking around randomly. You're just walking in the forest and then it's like, oh, there's god just walking by. So, like, oh, what's good? Oh, hey, you know, that's a cool concept. I'm adding it to uh, my fantasy world. I don't care. Actually, I don't think I have a place for a wandering god. It's over. It's over for me. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I definitely do. Just kidding. All right, never mind. Enough about that. But, um, yeah, so I really, really liked that. Uh, boom, ba -da -boom, boom, boom. This was crazy. Ready and Nadeko, you cannot be doing that. Bro, they did so many cool shots to like the door spinning. Um... The inner cuts, somebody pointed out to me in the Discord, shout out the Discord, join the in the description, uh, that the inner cuts were telling a story of Nadeko going to like a swimming pool, um, which we kind of saw a continuation of in this 
episode because we saw her like in her swimsuit and like posing up and, and stuff. Um, though it is a different, the intercut swimsuit, like the chapter number swimsuit is different than the swimsuit that the school issued swimsuit. It's like a bikini. So that makes me think that um, it's not like the intercuts aren't telling us part of what actually happened, but it's more so like a side thing, you know? Because if she was getting into the sc school swimsuit, then maybe the question of the chronological order of what Meek Nadeko is doing could be answered in the chapter cuts, but I don't, I don't think that's actually happening. But I wanted to voice that that could have been an option, but I don't think it's happening. Um, um, I know people are thinking nefarious about Ononoki being split into a d bunch of pieces. I just want to let you know that I can tell that you are thinking that and you are, how dare you? All right. Um, this is the craziest scene I've ever seen. Double, double girly girl run, um, which is my, like, my enemy in life. And they're doing it in a race setting. You're both gonna lose. You're both gonna lose. Put some, put some, oh, 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 you know what I mean? This is crazy. This is crazy. Um, <laughs> look at this shot. <laughs> I didn't even notice how funny this one is, bro. Dude, I don't even think Ononoki has, is laying down kicking her leg up i think uh, nadeko put ononoki's leg on the ground and then rested her back on it to like crack her back because she hasn't reattached uh, ononoki at this point no so she's literally just chilling wait this shot go kind of hard does this shot not go kind of hard as hell wait i'm screenshotting this uh, give, me, give me a second i gotta turn the subtitles off so i can get a clean screenshot holy crap <laughs> i'm saving i'm saving this <laughs> let's go hard as hell <laughs> Okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, a lot of... Th and then, dude, Ogi just spring around on the... Ogi, what are you doing? <laughs> of course, okay. Of course, Ogi chooses the play animal that's white and black. Because it's like the two halves. Like Aragi and Ogi. Aw, Ogi's thinking about Aragi! <laughs> that's just Nadeko screwing around. Um, but yeah, so a lot of this episode was- oh, oh yeah, I wanted to look at, um, previous episode with Ononoki. Oh, no, no. Ononoki wasn't in this one, in episode three. Oh, frick, I gotta open up my file. Oh, frick, wait, I gotta check, make sure I didn't leak anything, unless- no, I don't think I did. Bing, 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 uh, cause I just wanted to look at, yeah, what happened to Ononoki's outfit? Did I, like, forget? Cause yeah, her outfit is not nearly as revealing. Did she change into a summertime fit? Or is that, like, battle damage? Cause, here, yeah, she's still got the long dress. Um, so Ononoki's outfit's the same there. And then in episode two, was Ononoki in episode two? Yeah. And she's in the normal, her normal outfit here, too. Uh, does that change near the end? No, 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 no. So, okay. So yeah, and then three, four, and then she's, and then Ononoki was in four. Um, uh, and then the first Ononoki scene was us reviving her. So yeah, I guess, I think her outfit, she's lost a few pieces of her outfit in the fight. When she got jumped and torn apart, she, um, lost, like, extra frills or something. And did her hair get cut too? Oh my goodness, I just closed the other copy, wait. Did her hair get cut? She, currently her hair's like here. Um, I don't think her hair got cut. Oh, maybe, cause she has it up in like, oh, she has it up in like side things here. And then, she, yeah. Um, though it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it goes down to her, like her shoulders. And then here, yeah. So in the, did she get, wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me she either Maybe like Tsukihi cut her hair or something or something we off off in between episodes something happened or when she got jumped she got her hair cut plus her outfit got damaged so like pieces got removed. Yeah. Or I just somehow missed something insane. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Um and now she got that new hand do. What that hand do? The new one, the clay one? Hopefully it, it grabbed properly because like that's what hands do normally. I'm not being weird about it. Can you stop like looking at me like that? Anyways, um you're worth three Dinekos, Nadekos now. Uh, I, you know what? That's such a good line, bro. It makes me think that, like, in a way, she's, like, settled those two issues. And so now, like, 
You know, because it's like her dealing with the past two, whether she's getting pushed along by Ogi or not, is her, I think, reconciling with those feelings to some degree. So she's got, she's dealt with two of them already. Now she's got two left. She's worth three. It kind of works. It kind of works for me. Um, and so in a sense, it's like now you can like, maybe only kind of metaphorically or whatever, you can like lean on them because they're with you now, you know, y'all are with y'all are on the same wavelength now. That's kind of the, the, the mood, the sentiment I got out of this, which I really quite liked. Um, because it's sweet and I love anything that has to do. You should know it already from them. Subasa tiger episodes, anything to do with like bringing together parts of yourself that are in conflict is peak fiction and i will always love it and it's my favorite thing in the world now you are worth three nadeko's current nadeko and then she does pose bro what onanoki got them elf ears too am i wrong ain't she immortal onanoki is basically an elf but yeah man what else this episode i feel like a lot of this episode was just kind of explaining what was going on with meek nadeko and god nadeko um and uh, Ogi. I mean, and Oshi, um, freaking Ononoki, I mean. Uh, so there's not like a ton that I have to jump into there. And like, you know, trying to figure out which came first. Um, Ononoki's entire plan failing, which she was in very, she gave a lot of detail about how she failed, right? Which, you know, is kind of like a GG. Um, maybe there's some sort of like extra importance to the change into the school swimsuit. Uh, though I'm not sure if I can place it off the top other than what I've already said, right? About it kind of being reminiscent of Bake, of it being a God Nadeko kind of got to her first type deal. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what to make of those. This was a few cute cut into the, uh, cause it's kind of, this makes it, it sounds like, um, this looks like one of Nadeko's mangas a little bit. Does it not? I need to actually read those cause I think they're out. There's like three chapters out or something. Wouldn't it be fun to read those? If those are, I think people have told me to. Maybe, maybe that'd be fun. Maybe like at the start of the next episode or something. I don't know. We'll think about that. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Um, to skim through that. I also don't know if I can read those on a YouTube video. Anyways, I'm sure y'all will will let me know. But, um, yeah. So yeah, I guess one of the the kind of latter things I'll say because I'm starting to run out, but. Um, I kind of, cause I, when we were walking up here first, I was thinking that maybe Meek Nadeko jumped Onanoki instead of God Nadeko because Meek Nadeko had been here before. So I wonder if maybe, maybe this would be the order. Oh, I don't know how God Nadeko would get a swimsuit. Maybe this is the order of like Meek Nadeko came here instead of the Adoragi household because this is where she got like molested by snakes. Uh, <laughs> and then she came here. God Nadeko was already here. And then God Nadeko was like, you work for me now. And Meek Nadeko, Nadeko, Meek Nadeko went, okay, um, because it's Meek Nadeko. And then God Nadeko said, wear this. But why would God Nadeko say that? Or why would not God Nadeko have that? Um, school issued swimsuit? Where would you even get that? I don't know. Maybe God Nadeko sent her. Or maybe, yeah, I would say, I would like the idea of like God Nadeko being like, I can't have you running around town naked. You literally look like me and I'm supposed to be God. I don't want to be the God of being topless. That's strange. Wear this. Gave her the swimsuit. Boom. That'd be my idea. So, because Meek Nadeko, I think, has a reason to come here. And then God Nadeko obviously already had a reason to come here. So, for them to meet up makes sense. And then send her to go do a loop to attract Onanoki to jump Onanoki. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that looks, makes a lot of sense. So that's my running theory. Um, they really got me. Oh no! Oh no! 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 You're not like. Who do you think you are, Monogatari? <laughs> like this shot? God is crazy. Why is like her like? I don't know. This, that, that shot just has so much energy in it. Her like little, it's like her head's not moving. It's so strange to me, bro. <laughs> it's the strangest little run. And so I almost started laughing. I really did. But like on the very off chance that this was supposed to actually be kind of emotional, I kind of like stifled my laugh because I didn't want to like laugh at it. Because <laughs> it was kind of funny her being so overdramatic, you know? Because we, like, I did not, you know, it's, it's freaking Onanoki. I don't know, I didn't know how at the moment, I, how they were gonna be like, she's fine. But it's like, I believe she's, like, you know, it's monogatari, okay? Hachikuchi was in hell, and we came back from that totally fine. So, we're basically lit, you know? Su Tsukihi? Why Tsukihi got designer clothing like this? 
Bro. She, she as the Phoenix, jump into different families, but she also feel the need to jump into different outfits. I mean, we've seen her wear a bunch of different outfits, I guess, but like, you got like 17 different bags that I've never seen you with before. And all these shoes, your booty is not wearing all these shoes. I'm gonna be honest with you. You only got two feet. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> You want me to do that again? But yeah, um, good episode. Really good episode. I'm still going to say my favorite of the season has been the Sodachi one. How are you going to beat that though? This one, this one was good though. A lot of kind of prep work for the next phase, but with the kind of my favorite part of each of these, as I've said, or well, one of my favorite parts of each of these has been the, what do they say to Nadeko that refers to kind of her dream? That's like my new thing. Um, and so I'm really, really, that's what I'm most excited for for next episode. I'm really excited to see what God slash meek Nadeko have to say about current Nadeko pursuing her dreams because Wrath Nadeko and Meek Nadeko have spat one-liners right before their death that forced Nadeko to kind of come to terms with herself and that is really good and I really like that man but yeah that I well yeah is that all yeah I, I, that's all that's all that's all uh, yeah we're done in the episode okay that's all I got for this one on to the next episode of five it should be very 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 exciting of course of course of course if you like the video like the video subscribe if you are new blah 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 comment down below if you have anything to say or join the discord and talk to me or other model fans there but until then until the next episode that's the night. I will be seeing you then peace